Badgers take on the Ohio State Buckeyes at Camp Randall this weekend. Yeah, so the night game kicks off tomorrow night under the lights, 7 p.m. at Camp Randall. Here, wearing her Dodger blue <laughs> jacket and shoes. You ought to see the matching shoes that she's got going on this stuff. morning. There she is. There sports <laughs> reporter Melissa Kim. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I'm a little, a little tired this morning. I stayed I up until imagine. midnight watching that game last night. Sorry, guys. There's a lot of Cubs fans in the newsroom. I had to represent for Dodger. The there Dodgers. you go. You're you are from Southern USA. Exactly. You're from yeah. Well, well, first of all, tomorrow night the Badgers and Buckeyes will throw down in a top 10 matchup for the first time in 62 years. It's been a long time. Now, Ohio State has been holding steady to that number two spot in the country for a few weeks now, and it hasn't been a bad bye week for the Badgers either, moving up from 11 to number eight. Now, Wisconsin guys get this, currently a 10.5 point underdog to Ohio State, but we've seen this all season long. You know, the Badgers, right. they really do relish that underdog role, which was evidence against LSU, and then the last two weeks against Michigan State and Michigan. Now, this video here from 2010, where Ohio State was number one in the country, and everyone does remember that game. One current player especially does. He may have been watching a family member there on that team. Pretty special. A lot of people say it's the loudest they've ever heard the stadium, and to say that I was in the stadium on that day is pretty cool. And then just rushing the field afterwards um, with my family is pretty special as well. Anybody you know on defense have a big game that night? <laughs> <laughs> you had a huge game, man. I think he had like three sacks or something like that, and then they counted one as a run, so he kind of got gypped out on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody would be happy if T.J. Watt right. mimicked his oh, brother yeah. tomorrow night. I think that would be a phenomenal thing. And, you know, he potentially he has the capabilities to, you yeah. know, that everyone's been talking about how T.J. is kind of the next coming, maybe even better than J.J. That, that's hard uh -huh. to believe, yeah, right? Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but that game, definitely a memory for right now for the current day team. So here's some film we're going to look at from the Buckeyes win over Indiana last week, which wasn't exactly all smooth sailing for Ohio State. Now, here's the two big things that Wisconsin has to do, if you ask me. Avoid any negative plays because... They've had some issues with the running game in terms of explosive big plays, which Paul Chris talked about this past week. He said that's definitely something he wants to improve upon. And also another thing Coach Chris has emphasized all season long is that the offense has got to convert on third downs. So that's kind of the playbook angle, but I'm always about intangibles. And I think that <laughs> Camp Randall at night is such a huge one. I mean, the noise, the atmosphere, everybody's screaming, jumping around. And there's no doubt in my mind that Badgers fans here are going to bring it. And the players on Ohio State, they are definitely aware of that. Everyone hates you. <laughs> and everyone's yelling at you and saying stuff to you. And it's pretty much everybody against us. And it's, you know, we don't take everybody on real games. I think we take like 70 guys. And those are the real guys that, you know, are playing, that put in the work, that are, you know, the elite players. So it's, it's kind of like, you know, your little army versus everybody in, in enemy territory. And we that, like it that way. That, we like it that, that way. That's my favorite soundbite of the week. Everybody hates it. Everybody hates it. It's said so deadpan, too. <laughs> it is. So they're definitely serious. I mean, everybody's yeah. very, very serious about this game. Again, it is a top 10 matchup. There's a lot of hype going on about it. Obviously, game days here. I'm sure everyone's been yeah. seeing them set up yeah. on Bascom Hill. Um, they've been talking about it all week long. It's going to be a very, very good game tomorrow. I yeah. promise. A lot of fun under the lights. Yep. Good times. Looking forward to it. Melissa, thanks, thanks Melissa. for waking You're up, welcome. as always. Go Cubs.